Greetings everybody, this is Sliced Lime, and today we're going to do a bit of a tutorial. Um, command block to me. So, I just created a new world here. This is going to be a technique that you could use if you're making a custom map, like a PvP, or even a, like a competition map of some sort. We're going to add a couple of uh, objectives that will serve as sort of examples. You can use whatever objectives you have already, but I'm going to use one called points. And the point of what we're doing here is we're going to be uh, trying to figure out who won a game. Um, so we're going to summon some friends. So let's meet our competitors. I have summoned a pig zombie called pig zombie, a pig called pig, a chicken called chicken, the cow called cow, and an enderman called enderman. They're all no AI mobs. So, scoreboard objectives. Set display sidebar. Point. So, player set e equals zero. Points one. I give myself one point. Let's give uh, me and this guy two points. Three points. Oops. Four points. Five points. And six points. Put me back at one. So, now we all have different points. Me and these five competitors. The objective of today is we're gonna figure out who won the game. So, let's take this step by step. First thing we do is we add a, a fake player called Max to the scoreboard, see which direction is positive, this direction is possible, po possible positive, and then we're going to do oper an operation, so scoreboard players operation, we're going to set max points to be the largest of everybody who has a score and points scoreboard that is at least zero. So we're assuming that your points are all positive here. Um, points. So if we do this, uh, we now have... Oh, let me turn that off. Well, actually, let's keep it on. Uh, so we now have a max score. So max... The fake player... Whoops. The fake player max has the maximum score of anybody in the game. So, so we're going to do a new operation here, and it's going to take everybody who's in this point scoreboard, and it's going to reduce their score by the maximum number of points. So if we do that, then the score of everybody is going to be zero if they won the game, because then they have the max score, and otherwise their score is going to be negative. So, board players reset the score of everybody who has a score in the winner the scoreboard. Uh, main equals zero. Winner. We want to get the new winners. If we have old winners, we're going to get rid of those. And then we're going to do another uh, players set at E. Score points main equals zero. Winner one. So at this point, let's do that. You can see that the points all got dropped to zero or negative, and the one who is the winner has zero. So let's uh, objectives set display sidebar winner. We have no winner, and now suddenly we have one winner. However. If we look at our points scoreboard, uh, we've kind of wrecked the points at this point. So, scoreboard, players, operation, whoops. Well, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, and I'm just going to undo it by adding the points back in, right? But at this point, everybody has at, le at most zero points, so we're going to... And now we're back to the start and the point scoreboard, but the winner scoreboard contains a winner. So that's great. 
Uh, now we want to do something about that information. And what we want to do is first figure out was this a tie or not? So we're going to do that by counting people. Uh, so that's done in a similar way. Uh, players set a fake player named count and he sets this to winner to be zero. And then scoreboard players operation uh, count winner plus equals. So we add up the points of everybody who is uh, score winner man equals one winner. So we take the score of everybody everybody who has a score of one in the winner scoreboard, which is everybody who won the game, and then we add that up to the count, and that means we get a count of one. So now we can actually test for this. So uh, scoreboard players test, and we're going to test for count in the winners scoreboard, and we're going to test if it's between zero and one, and then we have one winner. Now let's grab a comparator, and you will see that in this case, if I run this, yes, we have exactly one winner. Well, we have zero or one winners, but that's going to mean we have one winner unless we don't have any players. Let's go players, test, count, winner, two, or however many, like two to the maximum possible in a scoreboard, then we actually have a tie. So what can we do with this now? Well, the simplest thing we can do is we can say the winner is at E and whoever has a score in the winner scoreboard that is at least one. And in the other case we can say say it's a tie between and then the same thing score winner main equals one. So now, if we run this, so this gives us a bit of a problem because this comparator is stuck. And so the thing with command blocks, this thing is triggered. It's stuck, so even if we trigger it again, the score is still in range, but we're not going to get this to execute again. So this is one further, uh, the negative x direction. So what we need to do is lock data. S count zero. Now if we're on this block, we see this turns off. We get a whole bunch of block data output, but the winner is Enderman. Let's turn some of the spam off. And of course we're gonna have to do the same thing here. Block data minus three. Success count zero. Now, let's say I'm equally as good as the Enderman is. Scoreboard players set uh, me points, six points. And then we run this whole thing again. Now you see we have a count of two. And somehow I failed. All right. So you see, you get, it's a tie between Lime Slice and Enderman. Of course, you can customize this to do whatever. Uh, now that you have your winner or winners in the winner scoreboard, you can use the selectors to do whatever you want with that, and you can teleport them, you spawn fireworks at their locations, do effects, whatever you want to do. The main thing to take away from this is if, if you learn to use the scoreboard uh, operations, you can do very powerful things with them very quickly. Uh, but it's also important to learn that you need to restore the scores of anything that because you're, you're operating on the scores as they are in a scoreboard. Of course, you could do this the same way uh, during a game uh, to output messages of who is in the lead. It doesn't have to be done once at the end of the game. The important thing here is when you want to run this, you should probably not do it as I did, like one block at a time like this because then there's points in between 
where the score can change between here. And that would potentially be bad, so just use a fill command, fill them all with something, and then fill them all back with air or with some other block than redstone blocks. And another thing that you might want to do when you're using this kind of stuff is game rule uh, command lockout false. So you don't get all of that spam to your chat. You get a clean message log, and that's how it looks. So that's it. Pretty simple in execution, but sometimes quite hard to understand. Yay for a simple contraption, and yay, Enderman, you and me are the winners. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.